Dream Fellowship where I'm looking at um, rethinking the relationship between technology and people and engaging people. And a particular focus is on um, creativity and food. So I decided to organise a workshop run in a restaurant by um, a, a very creative chef called Ben Spaulding. I think you either have it or you don't. You're, you're either a chef who's a bit of a dreamer. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big dreamer, you know, I have, a, I have a tattoo on my arm saying keep your feet on earth but your head in the clouds. I think that quite sums up myself, it kind of sums up being a chef as well. Okay, it's, uh, thank you everyone uh, for coming and welcome to um, our workshop, Mayan and David's, on creative dining, cooking and technology. Uh, when I went to his restaurant at... They go on and on, it's magical But I've seen it get out, remember where we went last year What's exciting now is how pervasive and diverse the uh, efforts are of people to create interesting things out of food. You make something, you admire it, and then you consume it. And I, I expect that there's a missing opportunity in how it is to be consumed, though of course some chefs are telling you how they want you to consume it. They say this one and then this one, or I want you to eat a lot. They give you implements. In, in the Victorian times, apparently, there were so many implements, as many as 25 or implements that drawing a distinction between an oyster fork and a clam fork and it became to the point where no one knew how to distinguish those two. What does it mean to really have a fantastic uh, taste in experience? So Ben for example talks about wanting to give a roller coaster mouthful for his salad. What does that actually mean? The idea is when you eat the salad you know you might have a mouthful that really doesn't work and you think I don't get that. But then you might have a mouthful, it's just bloody hell, that, what was that? That was just a roller coaster in my mouth. And for me, if we can do that, you know, we can give the diner just one mouthful that they really remember, you know, that, that, that's worth it. And we wanted to look at uh, what you might do with augmented reality, with some other um, uh, developments in technology to change food, to make it more playful and to get people to think about it in unexpected and serendipitous ways. This here is a water jug, which you think, oh, that's great. So you pour a glass of water. And it is so playful that you keep drinking water to hear more and you share that experience. And so you don't need technology to make things playful. And so we needed to really think about why do we want to you know, go to great expense um, to add in technology when you can get a smile and you can get people talking and thinking about you know, what is water, what is a jug, simply by having something like this that makes sound. I'm recording now, so if you'd like to conclude it in the way that it suits you. <laughs> Isn't it over? It's no. <laughs> never over. It's never over. Yeah, you can have it so, in there. So what do, what do you suggest, Dave, for our next workshop?